Industries. It's a robotics and drone manufacturing startup right here in Abuja, Nigeria. I caught up with the software engineer behind it all. Take a look. In this factory on the outskirts of Abuja, an emerging industry is busy securing some of Africa's critical infrastructure. Terra Industries, co-founded by 23-year-old Maxwell Maduka and 22-year-old Nathan Nwachuku, is building autonomous security systems powered by artificial intelligence and drones. I've always been thinking, you know, what is the best way to truly help industrialize Africa? And I've always believed that it comes down to the big three, security, energy, and food production. We wanted to begin with what I think is the common denominator holding the continent back. So we began building out autonomous systems to solve the security crisis in Africa. This factory has the capacity to build 30,000 drones per year. Terra also says that it exports to eight African countries, protecting critical infrastructure from gold mines to power plants. Most of the key components are built in-house, from the airframes, the propellers, the lithium-ion battery packs are all manufactured in-house. That has helped us keep costs really, really low. It's easy for us to scale manufacturing without cutting costs. A key focus for Terra Industries has been developing and building software and hardware in-house, helping them beat off stiff international competition. You managed to lock down a pretty lucrative deal, $1.2 million, beat out an Israeli consortium. Big deal. What would you say gave your product an edge? I would say it's the end-to-end -end integration that we had. It's not every day you see a company that's building both the hardware and the software at the same time. Um, and we have companies that are acquiring hardware and then, you know, um, building out their own software in hard internally or um, acquiring software and building out the hardware. We're a company that we're able to say, okay, we're going to build out great hardware and it's a great, great software, everything in-house. And that was what made us stand out. Terra's software, called Artemis OS, is the brains of its system. And in the field, its flying drones watch from the sky and its sentry towers equipped with cameras and sensors watch from the ground. Both systems check for intruders or other security threats. It collects all the surveillance data from all these different systems. It analyzes this data, looking for threats in real time. And once spotted, it alerts the necessary response teams, whether it's security agencies or in-house response teams. Essentially, we want to ensure that the software ecosystem of Terra is entirely African. And that is the key to keeping that data safe. Terra Industries has only been up and running for less than a year. And it's already making waves. Terra today has actually raised only less than $600,000. And within that short span, within the 11 months we've been operating, we are currently at $1.9 million in revenue. We have $11 billion worth of assets under our protection today. For us, the key thing is in a few years' time, we eventually want to have a trillion dollars worth of assets under protection, which would essentially encompass all of the power, mining, and oil assets in Africa. Let's first go to Terra Industries. It's a robotics and drone manufacturing startup right here in Abuja, Nigeria.